for Chattanooga head coach Rusty Wright. Coach Wright, you were you guys were really one game away from making the FCS playoffs or right there on the bubble. What's been the message from the coaching staff on what's the next step for this program to, to make that jump? Well, you gotta win when we're supposed to win. You know, that's uh, the biggest thing is we got guys doing right things and, and making the plays they need to, but we gotta be consistent at times we have to be consistent to go finish things off. And uh, we worked hard on that during the offseason, changed some things up, did that, and I'm excited about this group moving forward. But you look at Jay, Pier Jay Person right behind me. He's going to be one of the top prospects coming out of the FCS. Can you talk a little bit about his development in your program and what it would mean to have a, have the next guy drafted from Chattanooga? Yeah, you know, Jay came to us. I uh, actually recruited Jay out of high school. We went to App. We got him back. Um, and we played him all over the first year. I mean, like he played inside linebacker for us. He played a couple other spots. He finally settled in on that uh, defensive end position, but has really grown his game in the last two or three years. Become worked really hard to be a good technician. Coach Tyrus Ward's worked really hard with him to be a complete football player at that spot. And he's taken to it. He's gained a little weight, put on a little more size, and uh, he's got an opportunity to be a really good player, you know, for a long time. And I hope he gets that opportunity. The transfer portal continues to grow year in year out. Have you and your staff shifted your approach to the recruiting trail at all? Or are you still looking to build out the high school ranks? Well, no, we, we're a high school based program. We have to, but it's there, so you have to use it at times. Um, we have changed the timing of how we do things. We have changed philosophy a little bit on some things, and we've kind of started our process a little more earlier than we used to with some some stuff. But, uh, you know, we took eight mid-year guys, and then we were pretty much done. You know, we didn't really take a whole bunch of guys after that, but we we felt like it was more important for us to know who our football team was at the end of spring than trying to figure it out after spring. And uh, feel good about this group and looking forward to it. Looking on each side, each side of the ball, what's one thing on each side of the ball that you wanted to improve on going from 2022 to 2023? Uh, you know, offensively, just being consistent up front. You know, besides McClendon Curtis last year, I think we had guys playing different spots at some point in time during the season, which I feel a lot better about that group moving forward. I think we've solidified the five, and then we've got a couple of pieces we can put in there without shaking the whole room up and shaking that starting five up. Um, and then defensively, is consistently being, we were pretty good on defense last year. I mean, don't get me wrong, but consistently fighting to be in the right spot when, when it's time for you to make that last play, to be consistent. And uh, that's the thing is we gave up, you know, a couple of things late that it's just a matter of one guy being out of a gap. And it all matters. You know, every time it the ball turns over, you've got to fight to be in your gap and go get those things done. But, you know, we, we got a chance. We got a chance to have a good football team. You guys entered last season as one of the favorites in the conference. You guys fell a little bit in the predicted order of finish this preseason. Is that a little bit of extra motivation for you guys? No. I mean, you know, I don't think anybody's predicted the right order of this league since I've been in 2019. So why start this year, right? So, you, you know, at the end of the day. But, uh, no, I mean, we're going to go play those 11 they got out there for us, and we're going to see how we do and take care of ourselves and go home, just like we have every year. I mean, that's we don't, you know, we talk about those things, but that's not the driving factor. You get up every day to play, coach them, make them better players, make them better people, and see what happens when it's all done. When you look at the conference, the parity in this conference is unlike almost any other. How difficult is it week to week when you know the worst team in the conference could upset the top team in the conference? No, it's hard. I mean, it, that's the one one thing I think that's unique. I think it's us and maybe one other league at our level that play everybody every year um, that, are, that have an automatic qualifier to the playoffs. Um, it's it's an advantage, but it's a disadvantage, no question. And I think that's what's good about our league. You, I, I know I know the fourth best team in our league can go play. You know, and we know that we can go compete with everybody else nationally. It's just a matter of, for whatever reason, the last 10 years, it's had a I, it's been a bad look or, or whatever, but no, there's no doubt, you know, and having a couple of teams in last year that won games and did those things uh, will help us. But, you know, it, it's I, somehow, some way that mantra's got to change because we play everybody every year. There's some leagues, they may not get the best teams every year, and that's that's not the case. We've been in the league going on my fifth year now. Clay's been here. Hatch has been here forever. Drew's been here three or four years. So there's no secrets anymore. You know, we, we know each other. We know each other's MO. We know what we like to do. And you have to be really good at what you do to have an opportunity to go win. Coach, congratulations on a great season last year. Looking forward to seeing you on the playoffs this year. Yep, thank you.